It's time to talk about snoring, and help is on the way. For both of us, here is the best-selling author, Dr. Michael Bruce, a.k.a. The Sleep Doctor. Hi. Okay. So, Dr. Bruce, you've been on our show before. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, uh, Mark and I have been married for 20 years, mm -hmm. and he took up snoring quite recently. I would say about six to eight months ago. Okay. And it's... It, it and it's not all the time. It's not every night. It's intermittent snoring. It's intermittent, okay. and he said that he's figured it out. He thinks that he sleeps with his fists in his throat. I don't know what I'm that means. I'm trying to cover my arteries because I think that you may attack me. In, in my <laughs> my Can't vital. Say I've ever heard that one no. before. Is this a common problem? It's very, very common to uh, develop snoring all of a sudden. It, well, so Mark's not the typical person that I would see snoring. A lot of times, with typical snores, they, they can be a little bit bigger because mm -hmm. um, he's rather slim, so mm -hmm. there's less of a likelihood of that. However, um, if he's worked out really hard or had a couple of beers or something like that, that's when we can start to see snoring really come out. When people are really exhausted or there's something extra that's that's kind of guiding. Uh, that. But it's almost 90 million people snore regularly. So right. this is a big issue. Huh. Yeah. Huh. So how do you know uh, your snoring disrupts your sleep? <laughs> like, how do you know? So remember those cubes you were talking about earlier that yes. were by the bedside? Are so, they watching us? So they're not. <laughs> There's no video. Are you sure? I promise. <laughs> okay. I, I it's not going to make... show up somewhere on Twitter. For okay, Twitter. okay. No, 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 good. I promise. Because so, that would be horrific. <laughs> so all it is, so it's actually just a radar. So it actually sends out a radar signal across your body, uh -huh. and it can measure chest compression to the millimeter. So it measures breathing, it measures movement, uh, and it measures uh, your overall sort of gives you a sleep score. Got it. So here's what was fascinating was on the night that Mark snored, your score went down. Mm -hmm. And on the night when he didn't snore, your score was actually quite high. So I, had, I have your data right here. So what you're saying is, are you saying, doctor, here and now, that Mark's snoring is in fact affecting my sleep? <laughs> That is exactly what I'm saying. We have the data to prove it. Okay. So you had a score of 90 on Monday when which you didn't amazing, snore, right? which was fantastic. Mm. She got an A. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. And then on the day when she reported that you did snore, it was down to a 71. Mm. Right. Huh. So you can you can learn about this from this device. It's called an S plus. Would you say this is grounds for divorce? So I've saved more marriages as a sleep doctor than I ever would have as a marital therapist. Is that right? By fixing snoring, fixing apnea, things like that. So okay. I, I kind of do a dual purpose here. What's apnea? So apnea is where you actually stop breathing in your sleep. I do that. He all does the time. do that. So we can work. We actually have a home sleep test that I can give you. So that's prescribed by your doctor, um, and that's a pretty serious situation. Now everybody can have one or two apnea events not to worry but if you think it's happening more than mm -hmm. once or you're waking up in the middle of the night kind of trying to catch your breath then I would be very if you concerned. wake up with your wife sitting on your chest with a with with a pillow, pillow on your over, face over on your face <laughs> is that considered ap yeah. <laughs> so that would be the most unique version of apnea I've ever heard we'll call it Calap calapnia? Yeah. Calapnia. calapnia. <laughs> what are some solutions, though, for what? So there's a couple of on. different solutions out there. It depends on your sleep position. So how do you guys generally like to sleep? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it. This so, so you're both yeah. side sleepers mm -hmm. more so? Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so it's kind of surprising as a side sleeper that you would hear his snoring. That means it must be really pretty loud. But, but then, I think he turns towards me and snores in my face. Yeah. yeah. So if you, so this is yeah. actually called a wedge. Okay. And this is something that would go underneath you to prop you up, but it just lifts your body up enough so that gravity would not have but that. But we as an have issue. that bed that oh, lifts yeah, the, that automatic. Yes, the oh, sleep. so those are great. They actually have a, uh, a monitor inside where if it hears snoring, it'll actually raise the bed. That's the newest version. Just uh, came out at CES this of year. Of course it did. <laughs> right, right. Of course it did. But yeah. see, this would help because it pulls gravity out oh, of the. This equation. is comfy. Listen, we have to take a commercial break. We're going to come back with Dr. Uh, Bruce, and we have a few more solutions we've been doing on. Stick around. Michael Bruce is giving us some helpful at-home solutions in case you don't want to see a sleep expert. What are some more easy things we can do? You just shove something up Mark's nose. I found it fascinating. Yep. So this is an internal nasal dilator. I it's love called it. A mute, and you actually so you you administer it perfectly. So it actually goes inside the nose and it actually opens up the nostrils. The thing to remember is snoring is actually air turbulence. So anywhere that there's a narrowness in the 
hose that basically goes from your nose into your sinuses. Mm. Anywhere it gets narrow, we want to make it bigger because it'll make the air move slower, less snoring. It wow. feels good. Yeah, you can actually really feel a different it's breathing. It's really sexy too. <laughs> there's another, there's a different one. If you don't want something inside your nose, this is called the TheraVent. And you actually just peel off the back okay. right here. There you go. Okay. And it goes underneath your nose. Like this? Yep, exactly. And, and then, then what? You, then you push on here. Yeah. Perfect. And so this actually, when you breathe out against it, <laughs> it will, right, I, I'm telling you, some look, I know it's hard. It's not easy to do. All right, get take him it, out of there. Get him out of there. Come on. Take it out. Take it out. Doctor, help us. Help take us. Take it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, my he gosh. He didn't yeah, like that one, one Dr. Bruce. Okay. So this one. This is called a zipa. This is actually a mouthpiece. It's a boiling bite, and it actually comes apart. Yeah, this is the one with the really annoying commercial. Yeah, right. Exactly. What do you mean? You ever hear of zipa? <laughs> right. I don't know. I, What's I... fascinating about this one in particular is you see this band across the back? Yeah. It'll actually hold your tongue down because with a lot of uh, these, your tongue falls back and you still snore. That's, uh, that's... So that's really pretty amazing. Cool. Okay, what's next? Now, if you are awoken, it wasn't, it hasn't been boiled yet for you. It has to mold to your teeth. Are you really a doctor? I swear to you. She put me up to this. Now, let's say you get woken up by his snoring. Yes. Right, that, which happens and you want to read because I know you're a big reader. Yes. So I actually brought you blue blocker glasses. No kidding. So these are really cool. They're specially filtered. And they won't keep me like, They won't let the light keep oh. you. Oh yeah, but how about the light that she, when she's reading is waking me up? So that's your issue, not her <laughs> issue. Sleep there. Sleep there. there you go. You need that. Now, I also mm. brought, the, there's also one, if you wear readers. Yes. Which I think you do. This uh. will go over your readers, so that way you can. Oh, so this fits over the readers. Doc, this oh is getting God. sexier by the minute. Yeah. yeah. Wait, she looks really good. Thank you. Over Thank your you. readers. She looks really good. Yeah. And shut it. <laughs> Listen, check out Dr. Bruce's new book, The Power of When, and we will be right back. Dr. Bruce, thank you so much. This is helpful. Thank you.